hey what's going on youtube welcome back to another brand new video and in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your cpu usage reduce the number of services running on the background and optimize your windows for gaming and performance so with all that said let's get started okay step number one is the best window settings and for that open up settings on your pc and then go down to system over here you'll find storage click on that then enable storage sense then click on it again ensure to click on the first one that is keep windows running smoothly by automatically cleaning up system temporary files and app files and then also enable automatic user content cleanup and then select run storage sense every day delete files in my recycle bin for every 14 days and then delete files in my download folder never once it is done click on run storage sense now and that should do your job after that go down to gaming go over to game bar and turn this thing off game bar consumes a lot of memory in the background and disabling so will help you to gain extra fps right beneath that you have game mode simply turn this thing on and game mode turned on will help you to gain extra fps by turning things off in the background automatically once that is done close your settings and now let's move to the second step disabling windows animations once again windows has a lot of animations which are completely useless and to disable them simply search for adjust appearance and performance of windows and once you're here select adjust for best performance then click on a save taskbar from the previews show thumbnails instead of icons show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts all of them will help you to retain the look of your windows however disabling all unwanted and unnecessary animations which consumes your processes in the background once it is done simply click on apply well before moving ahead i would like to introduce you all to gvg mall a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place gvg mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors which is legit reliable and convenient on the website you can find a lot of categories where you can get steam and origin as well as pc game gift cards and genuine windows activation key I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have windows 11 update for free and it is perfect time to get rid of that windows activation mark there are multiple payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it you will get an email within minutes and using that code you can activate your windows in no time so go check out gvg mall links are in the description below next step is disabling unwanted startup applications and for that press ctrl shift and escape all together on your pc and once you're here scroll down to startup applications over here you have to disable all unwanted applications that you do not use right after the boot of your pc this can include your mouse service xbox service ws helper any other services such as whatsapp skype that you have to use only when you want it disabling them will help you to reduce the number of applications running since the boot of your pc and will help you to reduce your boot time as well as number of processes running in the background next step is ms config and for that press windows and r key together and then type in ms config right over here press enter and this window will open right in front of you then click on the boot section click on advanced option click on number of processor and choose the maximum number of processor available over here click on ok and then click on apply after that go to the services section select hide all microsoft service and then disable all unwanted service such as adobe update screen sharing service browser update service printer service benchmarking service and other ones that you do not use make sure to know which one you are disabling because some of them may be useful for anti-cheat and booting up your games such as vgc do not disable them after that simply click on apply next step is a local group policy editor and for that search for local group policy and uh, this will only be available for windows pro users so if you have a windows pro follow this till the end once you're here select administrative templates windows components and in here you'll find app privacy come down and you'll find let windows apps run in the background simply double click on it and then select enabled this will make sure that this policy is enabled on your pc and then default for all application you have to set force deny this will ensure that less number of processes is running in the background and all unwanted services are completely turned off next step is disabling sys main on your pc and for that you have to press windows and r key together once again and then type in services.msc once you're here press s key on your keyboard and find sys main over here right click on that and go over to properties startup type set this thing to disabled 
and then simply click on apply. This will help you to ensure that less number of processes is running in the background and it also fixes your input latency. Once that is done, close your services. Next step is creating a restore point and this is super simple. Search for create a restore point on your PC and once you're here, select local disk C, click on create and name it service. Just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because if you want to restore all of the settings back to normal, you can always do it without any data loss. Once that is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Last and final step is the service optimization pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You'll find in four simple folders over here. First one is disable unwanted services. And once again, it has a ton of service disabling registries such as Bluetooth, core parking, downloading maps, disabling extra necessary services, printer service, transparency, Xbox, third priority and Win32 priority separation. I highly recommend you guys to double click and disable all of them since disabling them will help you to reduce the number of services running in the background and also free up your CPU because less number of processes will be consuming your CPU at a time. Right after that, you'll find revert registries. Over here, if you want to re-enable any of these registries from here, you can do it. Second folder is the input lag fix in which I have left keyboard input latency and then mouse latency. Once again, if you have a physical mouse, you can run both of them. But if you're on a trackpad, only run the fixed mouse delay. After that, go to the keyboard latency fix and then leave your keyboard specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which one to choose from over here. Third is a CPU priority in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU priority. Once again, if you have an AMD CPU, you can double click and run the AMD CPU priority. And if you have an Intel CPU, you can double click and run the Intel CPU priority. After that, the final step is the batch files in which I have left disabling memory compression, disable unwanted services on your PC, and last is useful tweaks. First, let's start with disabling memory compression. Simply right click and run this as administrator and press any key to continue and it will disable memory compression on your PC. Right next to it is the disable unnecessary service. Right click and run this as administrator again. Now once you are here, it will ask you to give your consent. You can simply type in yes over here then press enter and then you have the basic disabler. Now once again, I will tell you guys do a standard one so simply type in a standard right over here press enter and all the operations will be done successfully after that it will automatically exit it however if you have a super low end pc go with advanced and if you have a higher end pc you can do the basic ones once again you can type in the revert over here and it will automatically reset the changes this cmd has made Last is the useful tweaks and it runs a bunch of commands that helps you to disable energy efficient features on your PC that helps you to utilize maximum performance and maximum power usage to increase your system's overall performance. Right after that, you can simply close this, close it out and last and final is the power plan. And for that, you have to open up control panel on your PC and then simply search for power plan. Once you are here, simply select high performance or ultimate performance if that is available on your PC. I have high performance right over here. Simply select it and close power options. Once you're with all of that, the process count will drop down after the first boot of your PC. I hope this video helps you out. If it does, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button. It really helps me out growing the channel. We're really close to 200,000 subscribers and your subscription would really help me out. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and Peace out.